So this is my dog Sansa. She is a standard poodle. And when you have a poodle, that means lots of um, hair. Of course, we all know hypoallergenic but um, and non-shedding, but still hair. And this hair needs combing and brushing and um, a lot of TLC. We keep her top long. She no longer has the bell bottoms. Um, so we don't really have to demat as often when she has when she had the long hair on her paws a lot of dematting was needed because this is very prone to matting because it's so close to the ground and when we go out and play and it gets wet and all that stuff so um, now the most hair we have to deal with is on the top of her head which we just have to comb. This combing we do during her groom sessions, which we do um, one to two times a week. She's quite used to them. Um, she knows all about brushing and combing. We probably comb and brush more than twice a week. We probably do this um, whenever I feel she's really calm. So it can be up to three to four times a week. Now that she no longer has the, the, the pom-poms on her feet, it has reduced our brushing time. And uh, I think we're both thankful, thankful for that. So to just comb her top, her top knot we call it, um, we start at the end and we use a strong metal brush like this or comb like this one. I got this on Amazon and we start at the end. And we get, we try to start in sections too. So we get a little section, we start at the end and you just comb. And then go to the bottom. Funny enough, people ask me all the time, like what do I do to this hair on the top? Do I curl it? And I just laugh because I just, who, I don't even have time to curl my own hair talkless of a dog's hair so um, <laughs> I just thought I just think that's a very funny question that I get I've gotten more than a couple of times when we're out for a walk and you know we just comb it and then by the time a day or two comes around it just goes back to its curly state again it looks like she's rocking a fro which we love. I do the same with the hair on her tail. That's a little bit, start at the end. And the, tail, the hair on her tail is actually a little bit coarser than the hair on her head. Um, and you can feel that when you're combing it. The hair on her head is much softer and much finer. It is a good idea to use a type of detangler um, to make the hair looser or to even just condition the coat and keep it soft. She has very soft, soft, um, a very soft coat, um, but we like to make sure that that stays um, shiny and um, keep the longevity of that going with her diet, but also a type of conditioner what we're using right now, and we've been using for the past year, is the Scouts Honor um, Daily Use Probiotic Detangler with Avocado Oil. Um, what made me get this was that we were, at the time, in some very dry conditions up north, and we needed something um, that would help her coat um, deal with the winter, with the winter weather there. And I just kind of, I just kind of, there's this uh, latch here that at the at the bottom here and to open it. So you just open it right there and I tend to spray it on my hand first and rub it and then kind of rake it through the hair. And that is all over the body wherever I think I need extra. So although poodles don't shed, <laughs> They always have, um, uh, when you're detangling, you always get your shed hairs from when you, when you comb them. So 
So kind of like when we comb our hair, we get shed hairs. So even though she doesn't shed all about the house, um, we get our shed hairs when we comb. Also, um, they also do have shed hairs when they are not groomed um, in a timely manner. So you may find a clump of hair once in a while in your home and that is a sign of not grooming, um, not keeping up with your grooming. Um, this is also another comb that I like to use. Um, <laughs> the end of it is chewed up here. Uh, that I also got on Amazon. It's the Hertz Co brand, and it's and it's this kind of pointy de shutter. I like to. I, I make sure I keep it keep it um, like this when I'm not using it because it can be dangerous, um, mostly to us humans. So you can use this for the body to kind of get it detangled. It does not bother her. I think she actually tends to enjoy this. I don't use this as much as I used to when she was smaller. I find the comb more useful these days, but sometimes I just use it for her enjoyment. <laughs> and it does help with, with, um, with getting some kind of underneath hair, which they don't really have like double coats or triple coats um, in, in the poodle breed, but it still, it still helps. And when you retract that, there's the hair. The hair comes off real easily. So that's, that's, that's how that works. And we thank you for watching. We love our hair around here. And she gets a lot of attention <laughs> because of all this hair on her head. So we'll probably keep it for a little bit longer.